Welcome creative adventurers. I'm Debbie Cohn with Decone Designs. I'm so glad you stopped by today. If you're watching this in March of 2022, I want you to know that I am participating in the Quilters Stand for Ukraine project. This is being uh, hosted by Pat Sloan of ilovequilting.com. If you go to that uh, website, which I'll leave a link for in the description below for this video, you'll find a free quilt block and free quilt pattern for your personal use. She would like you to donate to a charity of your choice and she offers UNICEF as a charity that would really benefit from your donation. I have donated. I will also be donating to the International Committee for the Red Cross to benefit those who are affected by the war in Ukraine. I want to make sure everyone knows that this quilter stands for Ukraine. In today's video, I've got a lot to share about what's been going on, my adventures in quilting and QuiltCon and books and roses, so please stay tuned. Please give this video a big thumbs up, tell a friend, and leave me a comment. Don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel and then head on over to my blog at decondesigns.com where you'll find lots of inspiration and soon to come several patterns which will be available for sale. So let's get started. The first thing I want to do is give you an update on my giveaway. In a recent video on the Chevron Jelly Roll Race Quilt, I had a giveaway going um, through that video. I have not yet quite reached 500 subscribers, so I'm holding off on choosing my five winners. If you'd like to enter the giveaway, then go ahead on over to that video and leave a comment there. I will put a link in the video notes for this video below. If you are a winner, you will receive a electronic download PDF copy of the pattern for that Jelly Roll Race Quilt. Here you can see the Checkerboard Jelly Roll Race Quilt that I've put together and the pattern will be available on my website and you can also win a copy of the PDF for that pattern. So head on over to that other video, watch the video, and it will explain in detail how to enter. Basically you leave a comment on that particular video. Best of luck, it's open to anyone in the world. The next world. thing I'd like to talk about is the Quilted Stand for Ukraine block. I will be sewing it and here are my fabrics. I just went into my stash and I found scraps and pieces and I will be sewing the, um, the block is a star block with the colors of blue and yellow for Ukraine. It so happened that I also have some sunflower fabric that I'm going to use for a border on my block. My version will be a wall hanging that I'll put in my front window of my home. I encourage you to make a donation to the charity of your choice to help those affected in Ukraine and to sew a block or a quilt if that works for you in your situation. We quilters stand united for Ukraine. The next thing I'd like to give you an update on is the A Quilting Life Block of the Month quilt along. As you can see here, I've been sewing along on this quilt along and each month I am putting out a video that shows exactly how to sew the block. Here was January's block and I will leave a link to my video for how to sew this block in the notes below. That's January and here is February. I also have a recent video on how to sew this block as well. And then stay tuned for the March block of the month video for the A Quilting Life block of the month. That will be coming up in the next week or so. The next thing I'd like to give you an update on is the quilt behind me. This is a simple wall hanging. I made it using hourglass blocks with scraps that I had from several projects and fabric in my stash. The adventure here was not so much the hourglass blocks, but I did some free motion quilting. You can see in the purple blocks here, I just a very, did a very simple meander, looping meander. And this is an adventure for me because I've never really done any free motion quilting before. I used my domestic machine. I have a Brother PQ uh, 500 SL and it, it was my first attempt it turned out okay so I'm gonna keep going keep practicing and I'll be able to quilt on my smaller projects next update I want to give you is that I went to quilt con 2022 quilt con quilt con is the modern quilting guild uh, quilt show annual quilt show that is rotated around the United States it happened to be in the Phoenix Arizona USA area where I live and so I attended with some friends. It was a great time, lots and lots of inspiration. I'm going to put several photos up for you to look at quickly. This one is called There is More to Life Than Books by Suzanne Woods. This one is called The Color of Heat Number no. 6 by Vicki Conley. This one is called The Divide 
by the St. Louis Modern Quilt Guild in the United States. This one is called White Cap by Steph Skardal. This one is called You Are My Sunshine by Linda Swanson. And the one that I like the best also happened to win for the category of Best Piecing and for People's Choice. And that's a beautiful quilt by Varushka Zarate. And it shows her pieced quilt of her and her two sons. My next quilting adventure you can see up here on my makeshift design wall. It is a panel, a winter scene. I'm going to actually make the panel using a window pane effect where it looks like you're looking through a window pane out into this winter scene. I'll add borders onto it as well. That'll be my first experience at cutting up a panel. I'm a little nervous, but I think I can do it. The next adventure I want to share with you is some books I've been reading. I was a little under the weather, so I had the opportunity to read several books. Now here's the first one. This is a new to me author, Tracy Clark. I picked this book up at my dollar store. I liked it so much that I picked up her next two in the series and she has several more. This series is about Cass Rains, a female cop turned private investigator in the Chicago area. The mysteries are interesting, gritty, and fun without being too dark, yet not too light. I recommend them. Here's your second one, Borrowed Time. And then I also read her third one, What You Don't See. The next book I read was new to me as well. I picked this one up again at my dollar store. You never know what treasures you'll find. This is called The, Mo the Matchmakers of Minnow Bay by Kelly Harms, and she has several other books. I like this book because it was fresh, it was light, and it was a little bit of an unusual twist on the typical romance trope. The next book is The Midnight Library by Matt Haig. This has been around for quite a while on the bestseller list. I picked it up. I liked the premise a lot. I felt it got a little repetitive and the ending was only so-so, but it was very thought-provoking though, so I recommend this one if you're looking for something to read. The next author that was new to me is Karen Robards. She's been around for a long time, has written many, many wonderful mysteries, but it was my first experience. This one is called The Ultimatum, and I will definitely be picking up um, more in this series. What I'm reading right now is one of my favorite authors, Janet Ivanovich. This is the latest in her Stephanie Plum series. This is Tantalizing, this is Tempting, Tempting 28. And if you're looking for a fun, laugh out loud mystery, this is it. Her series is awesome. It's one of the few books that I actually purchase. I mostly just read from the library, but if I really like an author or a series, I'll buy them. And this is one of those series that I do buy. So I recommend uh, the Stephanie Plum series by Janet Ivanovich. The last adventure I want to share with you is about my roses. I purchased a rose bush a year ago and I made it through our hot Arizona summers and now it's time to prune it. A little late, but I'm getting on it now. So I consulted some websites and some YouTube videos and I'm gonna take you along on my pruning adventure of my rose bush very quickly. So here's my one rose bush that needs pruning. The first thing I'm going to do is look and see if there are any suckers at the base or cross branches and prune them off. I can see here that there are several branches that I need to remove that are either thinner than a pencil, like here as well, or they are going crosswise. You can see here that I'm going to need to trim off the, all of these branches because they are thinner than a pencil. I also see that I need to trim some of this dead wood right here. And all these thin branches. And here as well. Here's what I pruned off the bush. And here's how the bush looks now. I'm a little nervous because there's not much left, but I'm trusting what the rose experts say. I've trimmed probably two thirds, if not more, and I'm hoping for some beautiful blooms this spring and summer. The last thing I'll need to do is to put some white uh, Elmer's type glue on all the places I cut to seal it in and to prevent disease. This is the glue I'm using to seal up those cuts. All sealed up and ready for spring growth. And that's it around here. Thank you for watching. If you like this video, please give it a big thumbs up, subscribe to my YouTube channel and tell a friend. 
please go ahead and over to my blog at Decone Designs. There you'll find lots of inspiration and soon will be several patterns in my shop available for purchase. Don't forget to go to the Chevron Jelly Roll Race video and enter for the free giveaway for a PDF of the pattern for that quilt. Also, please consider Quilters Stand for Ukraine or any other charity or project that you feel led to do. Thank you for watching. I'll see you next time.